the retail industry is collapsing from the middle and we believe the commercial real estate retail market will follow suit if real changes aren't made. My name is James Robertson with Workspace Real Estate and today we're talking all about the retail donut. Let's get into it. Let's tee things off by talking about how the market is doing nationwide. Right now, there are over 12,000 major store locations that are permanently shutting their doors. Most of those store closings are due to bankruptcy. Commercial retail space demand is contracting for middle retailers, creating a donut hole in the market. Now the silver lining for this year comes from major online retailers and local retailers. I want you to check out these numbers. There's about two to 3,000 major store openings that are happening nationwide. Since there is over 12,000 stores that are closing, obviously we're in a contraction. Most of that contraction is in the middle, the mediocre middle of retail. The few store openings that we do have are a lot of backfills. The dollar stores, the dollar trees of the market, they're just taking over space that was vacated by a larger premier tenant. That should be a concern for developers. It should be a concern for the market in general. So only the biggest and smallest sectors and retail are showing growth. Amazon, the Walmarts, the Best Buys, they're innovating and showing growth on that end. And then you have the niche players, the local players in the market that are also showing growth because they're playing to a market that the internet really can't penetrate yet. So the market has to adapt. The developers are gonna have to change how they construct the inventory that goes into these markets. But nationwide, you're seeing this deflation going on. If you're in Houston, if you wanna see an example of that, just look at the 1960 market or you can look at the Southwest Houston market, or you can look at Greens Point, you can take your pick. There are certain places here that were once thriving areas with strong development and the demand for retail has dropped. And that's where you see these dollar stores and these backfillers come into play, taking these spaces at a discount. And I believe what we have to do is develop work, live, play centers. That's really the key to moving things forward because we're seeing the retailers that are doing well are creating experiences for their customers. So to wrap things up, yes, the retail market is collapsing from the middle, but tenants still have a lot of opportunity to take advantage of discounted rates and developers just need to change what type of properties to develop and what type of properties to acquire to take advantage of this new economy. If you're a local business owner, please consider how online shopping will affect your foot traffic and keep rents conservative. Negotiate the most flexible lease possible. Smart owners make landlords partner with them by finding areas in the lease to reduce liability and cost wherever possible. You need to connect with a broker in the market that knows where the deals are it's so much more involved than just finding a spot online and looking at a price than talking to the landlord. Retailers have to make sure they get the most flexible lease possible every time. And the only way that I know how to do that is to get an expert that knows the market, that knows the lease, not just the rental rates, but understands how much free rent I can ask for, how much build out can I get, what can I expect them to change in the lease. My next point is don't play in the middle. The mediocre middle is the donut hole in this market for retail. If you're gonna be playing in the retail sector as a tenant, you're gonna be striving to be an Amazon-like or a larger type of establishment, or you're gonna play a niche and have a narrow focus. Both of those have opportunity. Everything in the middle that's not doing too hot online, not doing too hot on the experience, they're dying off. So don't be one of those, be one of these. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it share it and subscribe. We want to serve you. So tell us what you want us to talk about next. My name is James Robertson signing off and thank you so much for watching.